Hello and welcome to this demo video. Before we get started, I'd just like to explain to you a few things uh, which will relate to all of the basic range spreadsheets. Um, number one, there is a key on the intro and setup tab of all of the spreadsheets showing what the different color headers mean. The blue headers mean that uh, the cell's formulated, so it's locked and you can't change it. The yellow headers are where you can input data and occasionally there might be some gray headers, which is just a different kind of data input, but uh, we'll include instructions as and when that happens. Um, the other thing that you can be aware of is there are ways in which you can damage the spreadsheet. So please do take a look at the link where you see this image, which will take you to a web page to show you how to better preserve your spreadsheet. Um, please feel free to keep a blank version of the spreadsheet somewhere so that if you do mess up uh, a spreadsheet that, you've, um, that you're have that you using, you can in fact just open a new one, a blank one. And some of the spreadsheets only last for a year and then you've got a blank one to start the following year. So do keep a blank copy as a backup somewhere. And uh, lastly, wherever you see this image, you can click on it. It'll take you back to the store where you purchased this product um, to see if you've got anything, um, any more products. Uh, one last thing, to see a demo video, you can click on this uh, on a link that looks like this in order to go to the demo video, but that will take you to the most recent demo. If in fact we've done upgrades and you're using an older version and you'd like to see the demo relating to your version, then do click on the uh, watch on YouTube link, which will take you to that specific video on YouTube. So I think that's all you need to know. So without further ado, let's move on to this demo video. Thank you. All right, welcome to the demo video for the Tweet Creator. Um, what is a tweet creator? Well, it's something I made for myself, which I use because what I like to do is um, maybe type up, say, five tweets um, and then have different hashtags for those tweets. So you may have the same tweet going up five times, but each time with different hashtags. So obviously, you want to appeal to different audiences, that kind of thing. Uh, so instead of putting 12 hashtags in one tweet, if you maybe separate them up, so you put say two in, in one tweet and to do that same tweet six times with, with different hashtags, this is will help you with that. Um, first and foremost, set up. I'll come back to what the copy from paste values two is in a minute when I get there, but here you can put the number of link, the, the number of characters a link takes and the number of characters a tweet takes. <clears throat> um, so at the moment, Twitter have limited the tweet to 280 characters, and if you do put a link in it, the link uh, counts as 23 characters. So you can change that should Twitter change it in order to make, because this, uh, this obviously checks whether your tweets um, are too long or not. So you can put that in there and you can change that. The value should be there, but you can change them if need be. Once you've set that up, I'll tell you, as I said, I'll come back to the copy, to paste, uh, copy from paste values too. Let's just go to your tweet data up to 10 different hashtags. So you can put in 10 different hashtags that you wish to use and you can put in the times. So that's 8 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m. in the morning. If you want something in the afternoon, say 2 o'clock, you put 14.00 and that'll be 2 o'clock. Then each line, hashtag 1, 2, 3, 4, you can put up to four hashtags per tweet. So you just select which ones you want. So here we've got spreadsheet solution spreadsheets. Here we've got Excel. We can say, well, let's have a test as well. Now you see it goes red because you've already got Excel test, Excel test, so you shouldn't have that. So let's just remove that. Um, so there we go. We, we obviously don't want the same combination twice, so that's what that warning is. So here we've got spreadsheet solutions, spreadsheets, there you've got Excel, there you've got test, so on and so forth. So you can have up to four, just don't have any clashes. Then what you do then is you can go and type in your tweets. So here you can type what your tweet is, you can type whatever it is that you wish to say here however many you need. Um, I've said please do it for a week and use all the different hashtags. So this is checking, do I have enough options? Yes. Do I have uh, in, in enough times? Yes, I do. Are they all within length? Yes. If these three are, check, are ticks, then you believe, uh, you're good to go. If you obviously want a longer period of time, so let's just say we want from uh, the 1st of March to the 30th of March, now all of a sudden I haven't got enough options, which means I need to write some more tweets in order to fill that, to fill up those options. Let's go back again. Uh, transition, the transition, you can type in whatever you want to have between your tweet and the hashtags, because the way it does it is it puts your tweet first and it puts your hashtag second. So what I want between my tweet and the hashtag is just a space, a dash and a space. So I put that in there and that is what will be the transition between the tweet and the hashtags, 
and then I can say do I want to include weekends so if I want to include weekends and I go yes I want to you see then I don't have enough options because there are more days so if I say and I leave weekends out just tweet Monday to Friday that is now essentially set out my tweets so now I go to my tweets for schedule and you can see here they all are on the days on the times tweet with the different hashtags and they're all there within length so that is those are my tweets ready to be scheduled i personally use tweet deck but whatever it is you want to use to schedule your tweets you can then go ahead and schedule one last thing or two things actually first and foremost if you use our other spreadsheet the excel your tweet spreadsheet which you can find via that link if you use that then this is ready you can actually just go along here like that and go down to where to the end and go right click a copy and then go to the other spreadsheet and go paste values and you can paste the data straight into that spreadsheet and it's ready to go if you don't use that that's fair enough but now you're going to want to copy this and put it into something like tweet deck or whatever and it's difficult to copy this data because you can't actually see it in the toolbar because it's a formulated thing and even if it were even if you could see it it would just be a formula you wouldn't actually see the text so what i've done is if you now come here you don't want to do all of them you want to scroll down to here right click copy and then you go to the schedule and you go here and you go right click paste values not normal paste normal paste will ruin your spreadsheet because it will copy all the formatting you want to do paste values always always paste values in these spreadsheets that are already made paste values now you'll see it's just text and here is the text so now you can actually come and copy the text so you can come here copy um, and you can paste that into TweetDeck or wherever it is that you're scheduling. And you've got the times, you've got the dates and the text, and it's all laid out nicely for you in order so you can go and schedule it. The last thing which I'll do is I'll come back to, I wanted to see what that copy from and to is, and that is very simply the order that these appear. They've all been randomized. The dates aren't random. The dates are all in order and the times are in order, but the tweets are all random. If you wish to change the order of these tweets, if you say, well, you've seen the same format coming up and you just want to change the order between the, the, the randomness of that, all you do is you come here, you highlight that gray block. Oh, no, you don't want to highlight all of that. You highlight just the gray block within the black border. You right-click, copy. You select in the top left cell, right-click, paste values. And that has now, believe it or not, they are actually hidden numbers uh, random numbers behind that gray that has now just reshuffled all of these tweets so that it's just in a different order it's all random so you can just you can basically do that whenever you you see that you're spotting a trend and you want to just mix things up a bit you can you can do that for that uh, copy and paste values so i hope that makes sense to you i hope that you understand what the spreadsheet does and um, i wish you all the best with your twitter campaigns in the future thank you and goodbye